Hello creative friends, Kara Plichinich here, and today I'm gonna to show you how to vectorize a logo from an image, like a JPEG, for example, from a raster image. So this happens a lot, right? Like you're trying to, to work on something and a boss or a client or someone gives you a logo and it's a low res JPEG and that's just not gonna work. We need to vectorize it. But how are you gonna do that? You don't wanna trace the whole darn thing manually anyway, and you don't know maybe what font that is, et cetera. So you're gonna use Illustrator's image trace feature. So here we are in Illustrator. All I've done is place this JPEG in here by choosing File, Place, and dropped it right in. We can see up here, it's called Sassy Scissors JPEG. And because we're in Illustrator and this is a JPEG, Illustrator kind of already knows that we want to image trace this, possibly. So you can see up here in the control panel that image trace is already an option. It's like ready and waiting for you. And if for some reason you don't see this up here, you need to have your control panel open. So go to Window and open your control panel. All right, so all we're going to do is click Image Trace. And basically, you could almost be done right there, but you might want to fine tune the results. So to open up the image trace settings, we're going to click this little button right here. Or if you prefer, you can go to the window menu and open image trace that way. So here we have a number of settings that you can get in here and play with to really fine tune how detailed and perfect this vectorization is. The main things to know is that there are some presets. So for example, if you're trying to convert this to a black and white logo, that is a preset. You can just click on it and boom, that looks great. So I could work with this and then I could make a black and white version or maybe I want to keep the scissors red. I could manually go in and change it, but there's also a setting up here which is gonna keep the auto color. So I may click that and then I'll get my red scissors back. And down here in the advanced sections, you can adjust uh, your path and how they fit, how the corners are handled. There's a lot of different things. So you kind of just have to get in here and play. But the one thing that's really important to point out is that this may look all well and dandy until I turn on a background layer. And then just like that JPEG, we see that even though this is being vectorized now, it's still vectorized all the white bits. So that's right, it vectorized the white background, it vectorized the little white counter inside the E and the A and the O and the scissors right here, These the little ears on the scissors, all of that is being included and we probably don't want that. So thankfully there is a little option in here in the image trace panel to ignore color and when we click on it, we'll see that the default color is white which of course we can change if somehow you have a logo on a different color background that you would like to ignore. But now when we ignore that, you'll see that it recognizes the white as being something that we want to get rid of and it gets rid of it. All that's left to do is expand the tracing. So we can click here within the image trace panel. It's also up in the control panel and there we go. Now we see a vector version of the logo that first came in as a JPEG. It really is that simple. And then of course you would want to export this. So there's a number of ways you can do that. Perhaps the easiest of which is to right click and choose export selection. You can give it a name, Sassy Scissors. And let's export this as, let's say an SVG. Pick a location for it and export. And now we see we've got the file right here. So I hope this helps you out the next time someone asks you to vectorize a raster logo. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to give it a like and subscribe to our channel. And for thousands more how-to articles and tutorials, visit our website, creativepro.com, and become a member today. Thanks for learning with us.